We're joined by arguably the most interesting man in Wayne State Athletics, Nick Mutabi. And Nick, uh, you're not just a senior basketball player, not just a business major, uh, you got a lot of philanthropic interests, yeah. especially in Uganda. Uh, talk about, you've made two trips in the last three years, talk about what you've been doing. Yeah, definitely. So um, both my parents, obviously, are from Kampala, Uganda, and we always try to go back home. We've always been doing that ever since I was younger, but we kind of panned off of that when I got started going into high school and then college and we started to pick it back up especially when uh, me and my brother entered into college knowing that we have more time and a little bit more funds in our pocket and one of the things for us uh, we have um, a needs a needs um, system back home and we actually operate this training center called Opening Doors and it's run through my, my, my father's house and what he does there is we host I'd say around 20 to 30 kids who have learning disabilities and we help teach them life skills, teach them different types of um, just skills and crafts for that way when they do enter the real world they have something to kind of hold on to because these kids like I said they they have a mental disability and one of the crazy things about um, Uganda is that they they tend to cast away kids who have these type of um, disabilities and disorders and they kind of push them aside. Now, you grew up here, but your mom and dad are from Uganda, so you've been there more than just these two trips. Yeah. So is that something where you'd go over, you'd see it, and it just touched your heart and became a part of you and became very important to you? I would say now more than um, before when I was younger. I didn't, I feel like when I was younger, I really didn't appreciate kind of going there. I would just kind of think of it as, oh, it's just another family trip and I get to play with my cousins. But as I'm older and as I start to understand the political climate more and I kind of get a better feel for what my parents went through growing up and kind of how I have an effect on um, coming back here and showing the people who helped raise them what they raised um, in me and my brothers. Um, it's a powerful thing and um, it's definitely affected my life better now because I know um, they came up through a lot of trouble and a lot of um, just different situations and I appreciate the fact that they came over here to, to raise me and my brothers. So you come to Wayne State, you're playing basketball, Coach Greer's letting you take these trips. I'm sure he doesn't want you missing too much practice, but he understands the importance of doing this. Yeah. You also got the campus involved. How fulfilling is that for you that it isn't just a one-man show now, that you're able to get your teammates, your classmates, your peers to get in on this with you? It's kind of breathtaking to see everyone kind of contribute and kind of have their hand in such an amazing um, opportunity as the clothing drive that we hosted this on previous fall. And it shows that everyone does still care. I think that's one of the big things that um, people stu still do really care out here. And I thought at first kind of coming in like, oh, no one would really kind of donate. And maybe a couple of my teammates and a couple coaches would kind of give what they had and then we'd kind of box it up and then take it over. But everyone kind of wanted to get in hands on and it was just an amazing turnout. Um, we had tons of people come and help package um, the clothes into, into our suitcases. And then um, after that, send it on over. and. No history from there. When you're over there, what is the reaction from those families and when you're there giving them this help? Uh, it's, it's so much gratitude. Um, I remember specifically my mom speaking to them in the native language and telling them exactly what I was doing over here. And you just see tears and just so much happiness from the mothers and fathers of those different children. And that honestly is something that I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. Just having that, that experience and that kind of that heartwarming feeling of knowing that you're affecting someone's life like that is something that a lot of people need to experience and it's something that I'll always treasure forever so sounds like this is something you're gonna do a couple <laughs> more times in your lifetime I oh, would I, yeah definitely you're gonna be a, s a graduate soon you're gonna be out of here what are your plans going forward I'm still kind of weighing things out I definitely do see myself in an athletic administration role that's just kind of where my passion is I still love sports even though I probably won't be a professional athlete at some point. I still see myself being around the sport of basketball, around any sports in general, and kind of playing that behind the scenes role is something that has been, interest has been interesting to me and something that I want to pursue going further. Nick, man, you're awesome job. You are setting a heck of an example and uh, laying a foundation. Man, your future is looking great just with the fact that you get it. And that's a cliche, but <laughs> folks, this guy gets it. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it, thank you.